Hi traders, hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful weekend. This is Taylor from the tradinganalyst.com where you can enjoy all of the member only features like the live chat room, educational videos, and the real time option and stock alerts where you're not only going to be making money from the alerts that we give you, but you also have the opportunity to learn while you earn in the classroom setting of the live chat room where I'm in there all day focusing on making you a more profitable consistent and successful trader it's a great opportunity and I really suggest that you take advantage of it so we're going to take a look at the Apple chart here really quick now I just want to point out a couple of things here about the Apple chart overall it looks still to be in major trouble okay we've got this two down trend lines here uh, both are uh, valid this one right here starting here angling and finishing right there is uh, my more preferred angle because we've got one two three four touches on that line so it's definitely a more significant trend line and this one only has one and then two touches right there okay so um, moving forward we do have a ton of resistance right here between 11250 and 114 okay if you see all these candles congregating in this area the tops of these candles all in this area the bottoms of these candles all in that area and you can see this volume by price bar right here this thick volume by price bar um, it's not this blue line right here that goes across all the way that's the resistance line but this volume by price bar on the side is very thick in this range okay and that's no coincidence because it matches up perfectly with all of the candlesticks that are trading in this range so um, Apple uh, this level is important for Apple okay and so it should be important for you if you are trading or investing in Apple so what do I think is going to happen you ask okay well in this looked like a bear flag we were waving down up down up okay and it was my thesis that we broke out of the bear flag confirming the bear flag with this candle right here okay um, but what we did on Friday's action is we actually put in a, a higher low on Thursday and then a higher high on Friday okay so this can still be working on a bigger bear flag okay so this can still be within a bear flag but I just want to point out that we did make a higher low because here's the low over here and then here's a higher low over here and then we closed right here on Friday's action we closed above all of these candles above all these candles okay still not above the major resistance between 11250 and 114 so there's st and still below these downtrend lines okay so we still have a lot of work to do um, but I just want to point out uh, what occurred on Thursday and Friday and what it means what it means is that um, I'm not as comfortable short on uh, Apple okay so you just want to kind of you have to keep an open mind as a trader all right you can't just go you know not be aware of all the evidence and the information that's presented to you okay so I just want to point out um, though that little factor that puts a slight bullish um, bias in the very very near term for uh, Apple you know I think we could test this 114 level before then heading down okay so but again still the the majority bias is short because we're below these major resistances and trend lines okay so I just wanted to point out that you have to keep an open mind 
um, and that I do think we might test this 114, 112, 50 range uh, before getting rejected. Okay, you have to go with the trend. The trend right now is down. The overall trend is down. Okay, for the last, what is this, three months, we've been trending down. That's how you make these trend lines. Okay, that's how trends work. But you just have to be aware that we did make a higher low and then a higher high right there. That does not mean that Apple is going to break out to 120 or anything like that. It has a lot of work to do. Okay, it's still below these trend lines and resistances. So I'm going to take a look at the uh, indicators. Uh, we had this basing here on the RSI, which is also a higher low than over here. And it looks like we're about to cross above the 50 line on the RSI. Uh, we could possibly be looking for a bull cross on the MACD. And this could possibly be making a new uptrend. That remains to be seen because we are still below the signal line. We're still below zero. And we are still trending down overall if you look at the, the MACD. Uh, beyond this four month period that I, I have it looked at. Okay. Um, so I do think we'll test the 114, 112 level, but again, that is some major, major resistance. Okay. I doubt that Apple will break above that, but you have to keep an open mind. If it breaks above this level, that would certainly be bullish for Apple. I don't think it will, but if it does, that would be pretty bullish for Apple and you have to be open to all outcomes okay whatever they are and you have to go with the trend and go with the flow and that's how you make logical smart decisions that are going to make you a profitable trader okay uh, that's it for the Apple analysis again you can try out the tradinganalyst.com for free with your 10 day free trial You'll be making money from the alerts. You can also have a great time in the chat room with all the successful traders. Everybody's having a good time, making money, and most importantly, helping each other out and learning from each other. It's a great environment to be in if you're a trader, and I suggest you take advantage of it. We'll see you over there.